My bag time, got a bunch of stuff here. Got a thing here for mixing. This will be a review item, we'll get to that at the end. So make sure you stick around for that. Let's get into it. Don't forget to check out the links down below for these items. I'll put links down there if I can. So these are some Lura modules. I think they are different types. Yes, they are. So you've got a 900T30D, which is the 1 watt 900 megahertz module. And the 900T20D, which is the 100 milliwatt module. Something like that. 20 dBm, 30 dBm. Actually, they cover like 868 to 915 or above that. Actually, they actually cover two of the ISM bands. So they're actually tunable across the whole range. And I was just stocking up on these again. I've got some anyway, but I like to make sure that I have plenty. I think I've got plenty now. I've shown these lots of times in the past. Lure modules. You can do all sorts of cool things with these because they're just a serial interface. Put one on one end, one on the other end. Serial communication to each one. You're done. What have we got here? 100 microfarad, 100 volt capacitors. Nichicons. Not too exciting. I haven't ordered any capacitors for months. I think these might have been from about six months ago, this order. I'm pretty sure it was about six months ago, this last order from capacitors. Capacitors. Somebody will be happy. So these are, say, Nichicons, and they are rated for 105 degree. I just wanted some high voltage ones because I've got lots of low voltage ones, but high voltage sometimes comes in handy. Package inside a package. What do we have here? Ah, right. Cases. Now, I was actually recently given a iPad. I was given one. My dad had one from someone that gave him one. He didn't really have a use for it, so he gave it to me. I've got a couple of cases. This is one of them. Because I wasn't quite sure what style of case I wanted to have on it, see, you know, what actually was going to work. It came with a case, but it's not actually the right one. It's got some like, rubber straps that go across the corners and actually block the buttons and things like that. So I wanted to try a couple of different cases. So I've got this one here, which has got this clear plastic bezel here. And it's got this folding bit, which I think is magnetic, I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the other one. iPad Air Pro, I think it looks something like that, 10 inch. It's a relatively new model, still under warranty and everything. It's quite a variety. Anyway. And we've got this other case here, which has got space for a stylus pen in it. Interesting design. Yep, either one will work, I think, by the looks of it. Because which one I want to have. Because um, it's also got some um, fingerprint sensing on the top button, for the power button and stuff like that as well. And it's also USB-C. So I'll play with these cases and see which one fits it better. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use yet. I think this green one might be more protective. It's softer, but this is hard plastic, so I think this is probably the, the better one to use. We'll see how we go. Well, now I'm going to try them out. Put links down below. SD cards, they arrive really quickly. I only ordered these a week ago. That's actually really good. <laughs> ordered them five days ago, I think it was. Something like that. That is quick. 32 gigabyte SD cards or micro SD cards. Kingston, maybe, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Now, I was actually working at an event last weekend, and some of the items I've designed have SD cards for doing backup, so it sends data over a network and also backs up onto an SD card at the same time. And the SD cards, two of them are ones I've purchased before, they both fail. They're two units, both of the same SD card, and exactly the same type, same manufacturer, same, exactly the same units, basically. Both of them failed. So I thought, well, that's not good. So I've got some more. Yeah, and actually arrived in five days, so that's pretty good. So 32 gigabytes, V10, class one, and stuff like whatever it is, I don't know. 100 megabytes a second, apparently. Yeah. Read the spec yourself. In case you want some of these. A bit of links down below. They'll probably be okay. And now we have the mixing box. Now this, I know, is a review item. And it's been sent to me by Mixig. And there'll be links down below for the supplier, which is an Australian supplier, actually. Particular ones are going to be an Australian distributor because that's the closest one to me. It's the same one I had last time, I think, and I did another Mixic review. It's a bit links down below to that. Thanks so much, Mixic, for sending this to me and arranging the review. That's great. If I can get the box open, it'll be even better. Now, obviously, I'm going to drop this one on the desk. <laughs> Let's have a look inside here. Now, this is the NDP 701. So this is the box that comes in. So this is a differential probe. 
This is a brand new one. So I'm going to be doing a proper review on this. It's going to give you a sneak peek. Sneak peek, sneak peek. This one does 150 megahertz. Some accessories underneath as well. So watch out for this. Now someone's already done a review on this. I think it was Vault Log did a review. I was just looking at that as well. I'm going to do some other testing on this as well and see what I can do with it. So watch out for the review on this thing. That should be very interesting. And check out the links down below as well to go to the distributor and to Mixig. This is going to be an interesting one to do. It's brand new to the market. It's not been around very long at all. Manufactured earlier this month. Literally two weeks ago. So that's good. Subscribe over there if you're already subscribed. Subscribe over there if you're already subscribed. There's a Patreon support link over there if you want to help me to buy things in the mailbag and buy this test gear to fix that kind of thing. And check out our videos down below for other things you might want to watch. And look at the description. There's some links down there for things like that too. I expand it so you know, click on the more link and it you know, down there somewhere. Watch out for the review for this. It'll be up very soon. And I'll catch you later. Bye.